Dear reader, I'm writing to you on this lovely 2nd of February. Did you know that today marks the ancient holiday of Imbolc? It is the halfway point between the winter solstice and the spring equinox, meaning spring is near. How lovely to think that soon we will have green grass, flowers, and bees buzzing again. Today I am pleasantly excited that I have some new Valentine's recipes to share with you, inspired by many years ago. I have also written a little Valentine's recipe book to go along with my new cookbook, The Cottage Core Baking Book, which will perhaps be arriving to a bookshop near you on February 20th. I'll be sure to share more details about the books in the description below. The snow has been thawing and dripping under the row of majestic pines and all over the farmyard. You have to wear your muddiest boots. To brighten up the kitchen, I painted some Springer Lay cookies.
That was fun. I'll pour you a cup of tea to warm you up. I made this special Valentine's card just for you, dear reader. There is a feeling of purpose in winter bird feeding. The birds themselves are often thought of as spiritual guides, especially in fairy tales.
leaving some of the harvest for the birds is a human tradition that dates back over 3,000 years ago and is thought to release negative karma. I don't believe there's anything more fitting for Valentine's Day than a red velvet cake with fluffy white icing.
I'll be sure to cut you a big slice. Will you be celebrating Valentine's Day, dear reader? It can be rather fun to try some new crafts or recipes, don't you think? I'm enclosing both of the recipes for my painted Springer Lay cookies and red velvet vintage cake. I also want you to know that if you have or plan to pre-order my new cookbook, The Cottage Core Baking Book, I will send you a free copy of the Valentine's Day Tea Party ebook. It's my way of saying thank you for your support. I hope that you have a lovely weekend baking in your own cozy cottage kitchen, dear reader. I'll write to you again next week.